I'm Amy Beadle, I'm the director of Bound, so I have to organise like the creative side of things and make sure the acting is good and basically keep on top of everything. I also wrote the script and yeah, it's about a girl who likes everything the way that she likes it and she never leaves her house and it's about like the connection that she builds with the postman through the barrier that she's created which is this porch kind of thing. My name is Freya Erickson and I play Lila. Lila is a very complex character. She has lived on her own for a number of years and she likes things a certain way, like to the extreme. And she's quite happy living in this way. And then one day she gets a package delivered by a new postman. So I'm Carl Blakely and I play Peter. Peter <laughs> is a young postman. He's new at the job. He's like your average man. Just average on everything he does. He means the best, he wants the best, but sometimes it doesn't always come out how he wants it. He's quite awkward and shy. So I'm Martina, I'm the DOP on the shoot. Uh, it's been glorious. I tell people where to put the camera. <laughs> and I tell the lights where to put the lights. My name is Rob and I was the gaffer for Bound. So the gaffer is basically in charge of the lighting and they'll work quite closely with the DOP to basically set everything up regarding lighting. Hi, I'm Joanna and I'm the first camera assistant, aka focus puller. So my role involves helping out with the camera, helping out Martina, the DOP, and basically full focus on the actors or whatever the action is. My name's Annie Priestley, I'm the second AC for the band. My role entails with working with the camera and helping set us up and changing lenses and um, essentially clap up Logan as well. My name is Sienna and the person I'm playing is Lila. She likes things like to be nice and clean, tidy. Hi, I'm Emma Turner and uh, I'm young Lila's mum. My role is one where I'm quite self-absorbed. I don't have a great relationship with my daughter or my husband. I'm Brian Dunn and I play young Lila's dad. Yeah, he's in a great relationship with his wife. They don't get on at all. Um, it's not a brilliant relationship with his daughter. My favourite bit of it so far is genuinely just watching it like all come together and seeing like the things that were in my head then actually appear like on a screen. And it's been great fun to work with everybody and to work with the actors as well. It's been quite fun, well, like being in costume, like seeing everything come together because obviously this has been something that was that has been like in the works for a while and actually seeing it come together, seeing the set, seeing exactly how the character looks. And then because she's so particular when we're doing each scenes it's as like annoying as it might be to have to like like redo something because like it, it didn't look right but like that is how it would be in her head it's actually quite fun to have such a regimented kind of routine for her my favorite thing about this shoot in particular is the fact that we're going for quite a natural look so i've been using like daylight a lot of the time naturally rather than using really fancy lighting setups or colours and stuff like that. I like that it's quite organic and you just meet people straight away and don't know them yet. You work together and work really well. I really think that this shoot is good because it's really relaxed and we all have a good time together. We all kind of can have a laugh and still get things done. We've been playing this game where uh, you tell two lies, no, two truths and one lie and uh, Freya who plays Lila is awful at it and it's just great because you can see if all the cogs working in her head because she, she just always gets it wrong. I am very good at catching him out lying, I just can't then lie myself. So he's good at lying but I can tell but then I can't actually like, do my lies. <laughs> so that's been my favourite part definitely, just the whole spirit around the place. I would say the biggest challenge on this set has been to work with the sunlight, the natural light we had, because we're in November, so the sun has been setting quite early, so we've had to kind of race against the sunset. I, f I feel like looking back at the footage, the learning curve, even from the day one to day six, is quite big, and how efficiently we start moving 
from when we started filming to now. And how much everyone I see is just growing together and uh, learning. At first I wasn't confident that the schedule we'd planned would necessarily like work out, but having done it now for three days, and like this is the fourth day, um, and the schedule, no matter how far behind we end up, we always catch up pretty much on time. The more days go on, the more that we all get to know each other, the more fun it becomes, the more banterous atmosphere there is. I think that on um, our film sets that we try and have everybody relaxed and we don't want to push things. And I think that we are getting much better work out of everybody because we're not putting that extreme pressure on people. 